Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now I'm going to talk about Claude skills today, but specifically I'm going to be talking about how I'm currently building applications using Convex and Claude code. Now the reason I'm adding Claude skills to the mix here is because I wanted a quick and easy way to add Stripe to my setup. So I've gone ahead and I've made an entire GitHub, which everyone here has completely free access to use. So if you just go in the description and you go to um, the GitHub link in the description, you'll find Claude Code Skills Stripe. It's this one right here. So let's start by cloning that. So git clone and then put full stop, right? And then if you go on my school community, there is a extremely helpful uh, kind of step-by-step -step that you can follow, or you can just pause the video and just grab this step-by-step -step real quick. But basically the way this works is we create a convex project. So MPX create convex latest. We'll call this my app stripe, right? And we're going to choose Next.js and we're going to choose AuthKit. You can also use Clerk or convex auth. It doesn't really matter. I've just found that the easiest one to use is AuthKit. So you can see here, run through all these, et cetera, et cetera. And then it should create a new folder while this is running. Let's just quickly talk about our MVP building service. If you have a project and you're wanting it to be built for a much better price than traditional dev companies and also at a much quicker rate with me and my team, feel free to book a call with the link in the description. We're not hiring developers, guys. Please do not book. If you're just looking for a job, we are not hiring developers right now. So yeah, basically guys, there's a link in the description, just check it out. If you need SEO or if you are looking for SaaS and MVP building services, we've already successfully completed one project quotely, and we're currently looking for one or two more projects for the final part of this year and the first quarter of 2026. Okay, so now that folder has been made, we can CD into my app Stripe. Let's just uh, continue following the steps here. NPM run dev, the reason we do this is to create the convex project. So we create a new project, we just keep pressing enter, 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 enter. It should create the project with absolutely no problems here. And then if we actually go to localhost 3000, you'll be able to see that there is a fresh Next.js project. Okay, it's running on 3002 instead of uh, localhost 3000, but you can see this is a fresh Next.js project which has OAuth built into it. So if I press sign in here, you can actually sign in immediately. And within two minutes of starting the project, you can see that we're already signed in. Okay, that didn't work basically because uh, I'm not running on localhost 3000, but yeah, I'm not gonna go too much into detail, guys. This is how I create my projects and at, and at an extremely quick rate. Okay, so for this project specifically, I'm gonna have to CD dot dot here and then write Claude right and then this should have a skill file ready so i'm going to say what skills do you have available so it should say it has uh, next.js stripe skill integration perfect so in the folder my sas uh what is it my app stripe there is a fresh next.js project you also have access to the stripe CLI. So start a webhook to listen. Stop all projects running and get my project running. You will have to CD into it uh, on localhost 3000. This is essential. Um, you can get my Stripe test API keys from the CLI as well in the convict file. You can also add prices, etc., using the CLI. Set up Stripe as a paywall. Uh, when a user tries to log in, they will have to basically uh, pay first, and then they will be able to log in and see the dashboard that currently exists in my project. In which to enter here. One thing I'm going to actually just quickly do is I'm going to cancel out and put dangerously skip permissions and then dash C just so that I don't have to sit and watch it. I'm just going to check what model run. I'm actually going to stick on Haiku just to see how that runs. And I'm going to say continue here. So I'm going to use Haiku because I like to be able to see if 
Pike who can actually handle these kind of tasks while using the skill, uh, use my skill as well. So now you can see the next chest Stripe integration is running. Okay, perfect. I'm going to let this run, guys. Uh, I'm going to go to the shop. We're going to come back and we're going to see what happens. Okay, guys. So let's give, give this a little test. So I'm going to click sign up here and I'll do sign in with Google. Uh, let's just select this one here. Please don't ask me for my password. Okay, beautiful. And now we need to unlock now. Remember, guys, this normally takes a lot of setting up. However, with the system that you can get with the free GitHub uh, link in the description, basically it's specific for Convex. So it's Convex, Next.js, how to set up Stripe within that environment. So payment successful. If we go back to home here. Okay, and then if we go to the Convex database, you can see paid app. This user is now a paid user and they now have access to the dashboard. This will hopefully help you guys out massively when trying to create projects using Convex, Next.js, WorkOS for Auth, and now Stripe as well. Okay, guys, so just so you all know, this is now available on my school community inside Vibe Coding with Claude Code. Like I said before, you can also just get this completely for free by watching this video and kind of copying things down. But yeah, basically, step one of this is git clone the following repo in order to get my Claude code stripe next js in uh, skills implementation um and yeah this has been iterated on so there were some problems with it i fixed those problems now you should just be able to run this process that you can see right here and just so you guys know the other part of this process which i didn't mention in this video is basically you create a google ai studio right uh project which takes like two seconds, it's really, really fast, really, really quick, really, really nice. And then you download it, and then you basically say to Claude Code, using this system that I've created, um, you say to it, please, can you transpose or transport or whatever the, the verb is, move the code from my downloads, right? Which is Gemini Image Rendition Studio, which is just something I made in Google AI Studio. And because that's just React code, we can easily put that inside a convex like environment with Next.js and then add Stripe. And literally we're getting to the point where you can make an entire SaaS web application in kind of under 20 minutes, under 30 minutes. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do like Claude Code skills. It's the missing link that I was actually missing between um, agents and sub agents and being able to do specific tasks such as adding Stripe to Next.js. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. Have a look in the description if you want to join the school community or have a call with us to build an MVP. And I'll see you very, very soon. Soon more content. Peace out.